Well, we're back at the cabana and I'm here on the steps. And the thought that occurs to me today is in a real estate transaction, what is the one thing everyone wants? And that is the truth. The client wants it from the agent with good reason. The client wants to know, is my price correct? Will buyers arrive here at this price? Am I market tuned? Or is my offer too high if they are a buyer? Is my offer too low? We may not win this if it's a competitive race to purchase a property. So the truth is always the value that is really being traded. The numbers are the numbers. Everyone wants to get to the truth. And like a poker game, often there's a little bit of art in that. And someone may be only telling us part of the truth. As long as we get the truth, we can do our jobs best and we can help our clients achieve their goals. And we certainly are going to respond truthfully when we're asked by our clients questions that really have to, a lot to do with the market or the strategy that may need to be employed. In a previous Cabana session, I talked about freestyling the truth. I coined my own phrase and I've had some comments back from friends, clients, colleagues saying, does that mean, Ernie, you, you just say the convenient truth? You just make it up as you go? Is that what freestyling the truth means? I'm afraid not. It was just a bad coinage. It should have been coined differently. My inspiration for that term was really the Olympic athletes. I'm thinking of the gymnasts and all the routines they must perform to show their technical skill to the Olympic judges. They must hit all those notes to be qualified and then to compete. Or the Olympic downhill skiers. They must do the slaloms and hit every... It's just amazing to watch them go down those alpine slopes, but they've got to hit it. Very technical in the grading the judges look at. But then, one of the most fun parts of the Olympics that I enjoy is when those athletes get to freestyle. And then we see those gymnasts unhinged. They're able to tumble and fly through the air, and usually there's music to that, and it becomes more like a dance routine, exhibiting their incredible talents that always give us chill bumps to watch, or the downhill skiers that now get to just go freestyle and maybe tumble backwards in the air, going down an alpine slope, and you think, how is this going to end? And it always ends well, at least the ones I've seen. So be sure that you know the way we treat the truth with our clients and with our colleagues in the industry is that it's the only thing we will share and tell. Why deal with anything else? It's going to slow the train down. We're not going to get there if we're only peddling falsities and you know, hearsay. Just expect that from us and we promise to deliver it. Here's another important factor in transacting real estate business. What is it that all clients want? They want the certainty of sale, whether you're a seller or a buyer. When they are interacting in a contract, they want to know that contract is rock solid and if they're a seller, it's gonna close, or if they're a buyer, we're gonna get it and we're gonna make it happen. So certainty of sale is something that we as agents serving the industry must be sure we know the components that come up and add up to the certainty so that we can give that to our clients. You know, it's back to brokering the truth. And sometimes the truth doesn't always feel good. I think about those doctor visits when maybe the doctor comes in and advises, well, there's something you need to be doing to improve your health, okay? Maybe I don't like what that something is, but I follow my doctor's advice if I want to live a long and healthy life. So our real estate transactions are not really life or death matters, we hope not, and we don't treat them as such, except just like with our doctor's advice, we take them seriously, and we do listen to good counsel, and that's what we want to offer our clients in return. I hope your agent feels the same as we do and gives you that level of service. Truth is served up, strategies are offered, and you get to win the prize. 
our clients like to win and we love it as much as they do when it happens. This market has been a very interesting one in 2020. In just a matter of weeks, we're gonna be rolling over into 2021. There's a lot of unknown, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful because this was a year back in March, if you told me we would be surviving and thriving in real estate, I would have said, you can't be right. But we did. We're tougher than we look. We love what we do. We stand by our clients and we're ready for whatever 2021 brings. Till the next time here in the Cabana, I hope you're well and you thrive.